Gotta love the music in this game. It's Omega Race being played on the ColecoVision from 1983 based on the 1981 arcade machine. This is like an evil diabolical combination of Asteroids meets Robotron 2084. It's one of the most challenging games on the ColecoVision. And most of the games are really short, but one of my favorites for the mighty mighty 8-bit. ColecoVision. I reviewed this not too long ago on the Atari 2600. What stood out about that version was the unique joystick that managed to give you two buttons for the Atari 2600. One button to thrust and the other one to fire. This one can be played with the standard ColecoVision controller or the roller controller to give you a bit more precision when firing. This, this is really hard because you can only fire in the direction that you're moving, so it's not like Robotron in that respect. It, it plays more like Asteroids, but it has this frantic, you're going to die almost immediately Robotron feel to it. Uh, the, the game will basically kick you off of each level in, in like 15 seconds if you don't shoot everything because then the enemies start spawning mines and it just gets overwhelming quickly. This is a more complex version of the game than the Atari release. There's several different variants. You can play with bouncing walls. You can play with uh, like like a like a Pac-Man style warp tunnel through uh, from from the top to the bottom of the screen. There's a different level where you can play with a split box in the middle of the screen. You can't fly through the box with the score. That's just there to get in your way. But after you spend a lot of time with Omega Race. Here's a look at the roller controller being used. You learn that, in a way, it is kind of like a race because you want to chase the enemies around that box because you, you need to keep your distance from them. If you get close to the enemies in this game, you're doomed because they, they have far more accuracy than you do. And they're, they're nasty little buggers, too. Stay as far away from them as possible. Just circle that thing, wait for the right moment to strike, and then fire from across the screen if, if possible, if you can do that. But it's just, it's hard to control. This, this, this game is tricky, and it's not because the controls are bad. It was just designed to be really hard to control. Omega Race causes anxiety. I feel like there's some more strategy I haven't mastered yet uh, in, in in here. I keep looking for a, a spot on screen to just camp out and pick off the enemies, but there doesn't seem to be one. And you can't fire across the screen because that stupid box with the score is in the way. It's almost like they engineered that. One of my tactics that kind of worked was just to fly up and down and bounce off the top of the screen and, and, and slide down slowly and pick off the enemies when they come around the corner. If you can get them before they shoot at you, it, that's, you know, certainly helpful. But if you start flying around the screen fast and, like, zipping all over the place, you're, you're done. You're doomed. They're, they're, they'll, they'll kick your ass. Omega Race is like Defender Hard. This game is brutal, but... It's just so much fun because of it. And the games are all super short, which is fun. You can play uh, one or two player. There's a head-to-head -head mode in, in this version of the game. Numerous difficulties. And it looks great on the ColecoVision. Also, the music is awesome. Here's a look at the box, one of the rare ColecoVision games that I have a box for, and I, I took a photo of this and used it as a full screen shot for Ultra Massive Video Game Console Guide 2. This is one of my recommended games for the ColecoVision. With music that cheerful, how could I not recommend Omega Race? This game is tough. Takes a lot of practice. And there's a variety of ways to score points. It plays well with the roller controller, but 
It's not required to enjoy the game. It also plays pretty well with the joystick. This is a very cool release for the ColecoVision. It's fun on the Atari 2600 also. And that joystick that came with that one is super cool. But this is probably the better version of the game. Never seen this one in the arcades. It's Omega Race. Super duper. Highly recommended for your ColecoVision. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra-massive video game console guide. 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.